everyone and welcome to our joyful home. If you are new, I'm Sabrina and I am pregnant with our fourth baby. Um, I'm 36 weeks today and in today's video it's actually going to be part of a I guess week-long vlog if you want to call it that. Um, it is Tuesday the let's see Tuesday the 6th of August I am exactly one week or one month away from my due date my guest date we'll see when this baby actually arrives um, so I thought it would be fun to kind of mix a pregnancy update with a get ready for delivery and the baby and get ready for um, the birth with me so for this next week and the weeks to come, I'm going to be really hardcore nesting, preparing, working through stuff, sorting through things, organizing, cleaning. And so I thought it'd be cool, especially this week, it's 36 weeks and it's definitely just, I only have a month to finish preparing for this baby and for the postpartum period um, and labor. So I'm gonna be very busy getting all that prepared and so I thought it would be fun to take you guys along with me and we're gonna be organizing birth equipment and folding baby clothes everywhere, all from that to organizing the pantry, cleaning out the refrigerator and just doing some deep cleaning in my house, getting it ready and prepared for my time to be down when I'm in postpartum. We do like, I usually do like two full weeks of like being down, resting, bonding with the baby. So thought it would be fun to kind of do that. And so in the midst of everything, I will be updating you a little bit on these last two weeks, 35 weeks and 36 weeks, um, and just little updates here and there of how pregnancy is going and all that. Um, so I'm excited to just jump right in and let's go ahead and take you along my week. Here in the corner of my living room, I had a whole pile of birth equipment and postpartum things that I had just set there to organize. And um, by 36 weeks, everything kind of needs to get prepped and ready for the birth if you're having home birth. So my midwife wanted me to make sure I have everything pretty much at least I'm getting everything ready by 36 weeks. So that's what I'm doing here. I needed to organize all this stuff. There's a couple by baby items. Um, I think they're older baby clothes, like not newborn, but like maybe zero to three. Um, so I'm organizing that, putting them in piles and organizing the postpartum and the birth things. Um, a lot of the birth stuff needed to be washed and dried and put in clean bags for the birth. So um, that's what I'm doing here. So this video is also a pregnancy update, and so I'll go ahead and update you guys on what 35 weeks was like. Um, 35 weeks pregnant was great. Uh, nothing crazy happened. This baby has just been pretty good and mild. And <laughs> I don't know, it's just pregnancy has been going really good. And um, so my contractions have definitely picked up, though I will say that. And pretty much since the third trimester they've just kept picking up and um, so that's been a little uncomfortable but hopefully that just means my body's doing a lot of pre-labor stuff and working really hard so that when I do go into labor it will be that much easier or quicker uh, hopefully not too quick <laughs> but yeah 35 weeks came and went without a hitch it was it was doing it was really good and I'm still feeling pretty good so so this black container, I have kept all my birth equipment in for the last three bursts that I've had. And um, I will probably continue to keep it in there, but that's kind of what is going on here. I'm trying to organize it and sort it and just get some, some sort of organized chaos <laughs> in all of it. But um, I'm also going to be getting a cart. Uh, to organize some of the birth equipment that I will take out of this box and put it out so that it's just easier to access. Um, and so at the moment it will all stay in there until I get the cart and then um, and then I'll make sure that a lot of it's out and then some of the extra stuff will just stay in there. And then obviously I'll put all my birth equipment back in there when I'm done having the baby 
for future babies. So here I'm washing a lot of like receiving blankets. Um, my midwife likes to use these for the birth and um, I will also be washing sheets and towels, um, trying to get them all cleaned and ready and prepped for the birth. Uh, she has a list of items that I prepare ahead of time. Um, most of them are just items from my home. Um, some of the things I do have to buy. She has a birth kit all prepared, um, but a lot of the times with me, since I've had more than one kid, um, my birth kit will be, I'll have a little bit of this and a little bit of that left over from the previous birth, and so a lot of the times I don't even order the birth kit anymore. I actually just put it together with, I'll just order different items that I'm out of, and so, um, but yeah, so a lot of the times I don't have to order a whole lot anymore. Uh, just kind of depends on what she used in the previous birth but I'm cleaning all that and then here I had to clean <laughs> this is a sits bath we do not have a bathtub in our house and so this comes in handy for me when I am trying to heal my perineum and you know from having a baby I can do a sits bath on the toilet um, and so this comes in handy so it needed to be cleaned and so that's what I'm doing here I also had a bowl over there, as you can see, I did end up cleaning that too as well. It also goes in the birth kit. It um, is for the placenta. So um, just random things that you need for sure. And if you're gonna have, you know, a bunch of babies, you know, wanna, or if you're gonna have future babies, it's good to just save a lot of this stuff and use it again if you can. And so anyway, so a lot of the items that I had cleaned were coming out of the dryer, and so I went ahead and folded them. As soon as they're folded and out of the dryer, um, I will be putting them in these clean brown sacks. And they will just stay in there until the birth, and my midwife will use them. She'll open them then. Um, this is just to keep them clean and in a way sterilized, but not, not entirely. Um, things don't really need to be so sterilized in your own home. Um, it's your own germs, your baby's used to you, it's really not that big a deal to have everything sterilized unless you're in the hospital. Um, so that's what I'm doing here, clean, clean, um, <laughs> receiving blankets, and I'm just going to put them in the brown sacks and then I'll label them as well as they come out clean. Um, and like I said, there'll be towels coming out, and it's just a process of cleaning them and then drying them on high heat. So let's talk a little bit about 36 weeks. Um, so that's what where I am right in this video. I am 36 weeks along and I was very busy getting stuff ready for this baby. I've never had a baby at 36 weeks but my midwife likes to have a lot of stuff just prepped and ready by this time so it's ready and if you go into labor you know at the earliest which is like 36 and a half weeks you can have the baby at home. Um, and so she just likes everything to be there, prepped, ready, done. Um, so I was very busy with just getting all the prep work for the birth done. And so that's really what 36 weeks kind of was. And then I also had my home visit. Um, so <laughs> I did not get a video or clip of the home visit. Unfortunately, I was going to, and then I just got busy and distracted. Um, but oh well so but my midwife came and she had the appointment at my house and it's just kind of a it's it's something they do they come and they visit your home make sure it's all good and clean and you're ready you know for this baby to come and so with me it's kind of just um, I've been doing this you know a couple times so she doesn't really need to make sure of a whole lot but she does come and she does a visit at home. So it's kind of nice, it's convenient. A lot of the times it's the first time my husband actually gets to see her for the pregnancy because he's busy working and he doesn't always get to come to appointments with me. So, and then it's also a time that she can meet the whole birth team. So uh, my mom and her have known each other for years. So that's kind of a given, like she already knows her, but she came anyway, and it's just kind of a chance for everybody to get together before the birth and talk 
and uh, just discuss the birth. And so it's a really, really neat time. Um, and so, yeah, anyway, but I'm getting all the stuff ready at 36 weeks and it was kind of crazy, but I survived and it was good and I obviously was fine. <laughs> but um, I did all this with contractions and all kinds of things going on, but um, but it was good and I was, I love organizing and so it was really handy for me to just get that all done. Um, so, and here, as you can see, I'm putting more stuff in the clean bags and then I am just making sure it's all in there. Um, later on I'll label them and tape them shut so they stay nice and clean. And then sh my midwife, like I said before, will open them up when it's time and use them during, in the birth. So curious I do have five well there's four people not including me that will be at the birth um, my mother she's kind of like my doula um, she is just amazing she's had nine kids so she's very experienced with birth and she's had most of us at home um, so she will be there and then my husband of course my midwife and then my sister-in-law will be taking pictures um, she is actually a doula and um, studying to become a midwife so she will be at my birth taking pictures and just being there and so um, but that is the only people that will be there um, I am not I don't like a lot of people and with my son my oldest I actually ended up having him at the hospital so there was a ton of people and I really just only like the people there that are going to support me and that I feel comfortable around and so that is what my birth team will look like um, and then my kids will not be involved in my birth um, mostly because they're very young and um, this is just a decision my husband and I have made and when my daughter gets old enough she will probably be allowed to be in the birth um, and around it. And even when we have a bigger house, potentially, my mother-in-law might just come over and watch them while I'm having the baby. But we'll see what happens in the future with future kids. But as far as right now, my mother-in-law and father-in-law will be taking the kiddos um, when I'm in labor. And they will just hang out with them while I'm in labor. So it's the next day and my refrigerator had needed a desperate clean out. It was so bad and I really, that was one of the big jobs I wanted done before I have this baby. And so I decided that that this day was going to be the day I did it and I did do it. It was a lot of work because my kids were up and about and um, it was a really bad mess. Like I'm not going to lie, it was, it was bad. I actually ended up cleaning out the freezer in the bottom as well, which was, it was nice. It was nice to get it done. Um, and so, as you can see, it's kind of crazy around me and the camera will probably move several different times while I'm filming this due to the fact that I have three little kids that bump the stand that the camera's sitting on and multiple times having to move the camera because the kids either were getting too close to it or I needed it to move. Our kitchen's very small. Um, so it's a little chaotic, but they tried to help as much as they could in one way. And sometimes I'd just be like, okay, let's let, let mommy clean this out. But they're very, they're very intense <laughs> when it comes to wanting to help, which is good. Um, but yeah, so this fridge was so bad. It was, it was pretty bad. And I was just glad to get it done because now I have a clean kitchen for our clean refrigerator and freezer for when this baby comes and I don't have to worry about it. So that will be really nice. And I definitely deep cleaned it. So at the end of this, you'll see how much cleaner it looks. It's pretty nice. So as you can see, it is just so much cleaner now. Like. It looks like a different fridge <laughs> and it felt so good to get it done. I tell you what, I might have had a few contractions afterwards, just my body was like, hey, you need to go sit down, but look at how nice it looks and organized. It felt so good to get it done.
So the next project on the agenda for that week was to organize and clean this little coffee table that we have. Um, it has two little compartments on the top, as you'll see when I open it. Um, it was so unorganized and messy. I was just, I really needed to get it cleaned out and organized. So that's what I'm doing here. It was, it was a mess. There were crumbs in it from eating in the living room when, you know, we have family night or whatever, or Josiah was, or Josiah or I were sitting eating it at it or the kids. And so there was, there's definitely a lot of just junk. So I wanted to get that done. And so that's what me and the kids are doing. Judah, my oldest, he loves to vacuum. So he got the vacuum out and started getting that done for me. It was so cute. Um, and he really wanted to do it on his own. As you'll see later on in this video, he was very insistent on starting the process of vacuuming. Um, I ended up finishing it, but he was very insistent upon helping. It was so cute. He is almost six and is quite the big help, and I don't know what I'd do without him. He's just such a big kid. And I really do believe that if you start your kids early with chores and giving them responsibilities, they really do turn out to be better, better chore doers or better kids, better kids in general. They really want to help. They want to be involved and you just give them that responsibility and it's amazing how much they, they very may very may well surprise you with how much they can do. So now it's all organized. It felt so good to get that done <laughs> and it looked so much better at the end. So the next big project on my list that I got done that week was my pantry. It was a wreck. It was so unorganized and messy. It was driving me insane. So I was very glad when I opened the door and was just like, you know what, I'm going to start. And I actually tried to start while my midwife, right before my midwife came, which was the day before this. And I ended up just not doing it because my mom got there and then I just didn't have enough time so I this is the next the day after my appointment or my home visit and so I finally got to it and just organized this pantry and it went so well I was I was very happy with the results <laughs> those were some old chips that were in the back of the pan or in the back of the top top shelf I think and uh, so but it was just like literally or unorganized and chaotic and a mess so at the end of this clip you'll see how much better it looks it's amazing now if I can just keep up on keeping my pantry organized that would be so helpful but as a mom of three pretty much a mom of four actually um, sometimes things just get away and you have to reorganize stuff all the time I think it's been a year since I organized this pantry last so it was definitely needed.
So this is our bedroom and it really needed an update on pillowcases and our comforter. The blue one that you can see there is our new comforter. It's actually from Piglet in Bed, which is a company I found on Instagram and I love it. It's cotton and it's actually um, a really good cotton. Like, you know, some cottons can be sprayed with pesticides and all that kind of thing. And so I got a really good high quality cotton duvet and so that was really nice. Um, I also got some cotton pillow shams um, and we they were th I think they were from Amazon <clears throat> also fairly high quality. Um, I was able to find some on Amazon and then I had my body pillow that I use for pregnancy um, and I also bought a cotton pillowcase for that because the one I had was a synthetic fiber and I really hate synthetic fibers so I decided to get one for that too. Um, I think they're actually organic cotton too, uh, the pillowcases. Although I have to say I was a little disappointed at the color of the pillow shams, so we might change the color later on, but I was happy, much happier with the outcome of how my bed turned out to look. It looked so much better than our previous, it, it, our previous comforter had just looked so worn out and needed updating, and this one is so much more comfortable and cool but also warm feeling so we decided to just change it up but um but yeah so it looks so much better now that it's been freshened and our bedroom actually looks so much better it's actually changed a lot since even just this video we've we added um well i didn't add but i organized more more stuff around our bedroom and so it's definitely looking so much better and it will be nice once i have this baby The next thing that needed to get done was steeping my sitz bath. This is an herbal sitz bath from a store um, near me, uh, actually in the city nearest me, and um, I used it with my, my previous birth and it went really, it helped my healing immensely. Um, you steep it for, uh, you, yeah, you steep it in boiled, almost boiled water for about six to eight hours and then after that you will strain the herbs out and freeze them. This kind of just preps it. It's for after you have the baby so it's a postpartum herbal bath and I will add it to my sits bath routine um, and I, we don't have a bathtub like I said before so I will just be adding that to my sits bath on the toilet and sitting on that for a couple minutes each day of my postpartum. But I will be straining the herbs out and freezing this so and I'll take it out um, after I have had the baby and then I'll use it then. Okay so it was time to make another batch of laundry soap so that's what I'm doing here. Um, we had <laughs> ran out I think that day and so I made a huge batch. It lasts us about I don't know, two or three months, maybe just two, depending on how many, how much laundry I did. I went through a lot of de laundry detergent um, this time around because I was preparing for this baby and washing a ton of stuff. Um, so we went through a lot of laundry soap. But um, so I'm here just making it. I make my own laundry detergent. I use Castile soap. Um, that's what these bars of soap are. And then I use. Epsom salts, baking soda, and super washing soda and essential oils, and that's all I do. It's a very simple recipe, it works really great, our clothes come out fresh and clean, and I love it. Um, it's so easy to make too, and yeah, I'm using the knife, I know. It's not very safe or great for the knife, but our knives are dull and <laughs> the soap was sticking to <laughs> the plastic, so you know, you use what you have. Um, so, but yeah, I was just grating the soap up and it makes, just makes so much easier. It's so much easier to put it in the food processor and way less of a mess. So I decided to do that, but I'm just here making my laundry soap and it will get us probably through another two months before I have to make more. So it will be nice for when I have a baby. I don't have to worry about making more and it will get us through till I'm up after the two weeks of postpartum breast. And here I'm just trying to like get all the clumps out of this. When you're using baking soda and other stuff, they just get clumpy. 
And so I just find it's easier to use my hands to just break up the different clumps. Um, you can use a spatula or, you know, a whisk, <laughs> whatever you have on hand. Um, but yeah, I actually ended up using my dough hook here, or my dough, my dough spoon. Um, but it ended up not even working, so I actually changed the different spoon that I was using. Um, and so just kind of use what works best for you. But yeah, you know, use your hands too. That's what I did for at least the clumps. So during my home visit, my midwife actually brought over the birth pool, which was great. We want to try it. I've never been able to have um, my any of my actual births in the pool, but it helps labor go by so much faster. And I really enjoy, I really enjoy water while I'm in labor, even if I don't end up actually having the baby in there. Um, so, but I kind of have to blow it all up. It's a new one that she hadn't used before. And so I just, she just wanted me to blow it up, see how big it was, and make sure that the liner actually fit on it. Um, so that's what I'm doing here. I had to blow it all up. It was huge, you guys. Like, so big. I was just so surprised at how big it turned it out. It turned out to be. Um, it's the biggest birth pool I will birth in. <laughs> but, and we weren't even sure. I'm not even sure if this is the one I, I'm exactly going to be birthing in, but I'm pretty sure it is. And so it's just big and heavy and <laughs> a little awkward to get in and out of the box, but it is nice. It has handles, it has a cup holder, and it has padding on in the bottom of the birth pool that you can blow up. And so that is nice. So we'll see how this goes, but everything turned out great, the liner fit, and it's just a big pool. Like, I will have plenty of room in there. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and end it here. Right here I'm just straining out the rest of the herbs from the day before, or that day that I had steeped, and so I'm just putting that all in the freezer. But uh, yeah, this is kind of a different kind of video, but I kind of liked it, and I just was doing a lot of nesting, and so I'm glad you guys came along with me and just watched me get ready for this new baby that is soon to come, and this has just been great, and I'm really glad to have gotten so much done. But I will see you guys in my next video. Have a great one. Bye.